Consumers may not feel like they have much cash, but food and beverage companies do. And they're about to spend some on mergers and acquisitions. That according to a KPMG Knowledge at Wharton survey. Citing pent-up demand for deals, the report pegs three primary drivers of this potential binge. Corporate cash hoards, low interest rates, and the need to expand user bases and spark growth for Wall Street, while a shaky economy hinders consumer spend. Opportunities in emerging markets will motivate deals. Rob Coble at KPMG expects the M&A market to really take off once the economy improves and consumers and CEOs are more confident. He says, and I quote, while they wait for more solid footing with the economy, they're being active in pursuing strategic acquisitions that complete a product line, add innovation, or expand to an emerging market country. Nearly 7 out of 10 executive respondents feel their companies will make at least one acquisition in 2012. Now that's up from 57% who said this last year. The optimism over deals follows a year in which 762 deals were completed in the consumer products and services sector at an average value of $210 million. Between the uncertainties of an election year, economic pain in Europe, and persistently high unemployment here in the United States, we at the Lemper Report see possible delays in this M&A upsurge. Not because companies don't want the growth, but valuations might come down and acquirers could get better deals. What sells online when the Lemper Report continues? Monsanto, producing more, conserving more, Improving farmers' lives. That's sustainable agriculture. More at producemoreconservemore.com. Brick and mortar retailers know that as compelling as they can make their stores, online sales will continue to encroach and showrooming will endure. Because consumers have the power of pricing, product and review information in their mobile devices, and increasingly are using it. Consumers are also drawn to e-commerce operators that connect with them in ways beyond pushing goods for sale. The sites inform, entertain, and dwell on their interests. Physical stores are beginning to pair up with online merchants and marketing experts to marry two worlds. Their own established distribution with the multi-level bonds achieved by younger companies in the online world. The New York Times reported on recent experiences by Walgreens, Walmart, and Nordstrom to either acquire or partner with such online entities. Yet food purchasing is a more emotional, more primal behavior than either apparel or drugs, we believe. For that reason, meat and produce are kinds of categories that will continue to be bought in person while packaged replenishables such as paper towels, detergent, bottled water, and coffee can suit an online automated repurchase model such as Alice.com. We expect hybrid growth ahead in the retail food sector. Amazon is proof of online transactions, but with some apparent limits to category breadth of appeal. 11 of Amazon's top 20 sellers in the grocery and gourmet food sector are coffees or coffee accessories. Less prominent on the list are coconut oil, coconut water, peanut butter, snack bars, cold cereals, and organic infant formula products. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.